So how much cardio should you be doing? Well, that's kind of a really individual question, but the first and most important thing I want you to understand about our cardio workouts is I want you to keep them non-judgmental. Okay, so what do I mean by that, right? Well, one really, really big thing when it comes to doing cardio workouts is I need you to start reflecting on them and you know, do they feel good for you? Is your body in pain? And let me reframe a little bit with the feeling good, right? Sometimes we have to make ourselves do cardio. I know some of you are saying, Eric, I don't really love cardio, but I feel good after, right? Or whatever your reasoning might be. And that's totally fine. If that's your drive and you're like, yep, I never feel like getting up and going, but once I get going and I do it, that's not really what I'm talking about here. That's great, and I love that you do that. Um, but for some of you, you're like, I get on the treadmill or I go out for a run and I'm gonna push through no matter what, right? You might start, get, you get partway through your workout and your hip starts hurting or your neck or you feel a lot of tension up here because you're running and you're really tense up through here, right? We're running too blocky or we're walking too blocky, right? Because we should have a little nice spiral through our body when we're walking and when we're running versus being so like rigid, right? And if you start to pay attention to that, you might start to recognize like, oh wow, I am walking and running really rigid and we need to have a lot more of a flow movement to us. Okay, so that's one big piece. But when I'm talking about the, you know, having no judgment around your workouts, around your cardio specifically, because I know so many of you ask me, well, how much should I be doing? The answer is, I mean, ideally, I'd love you to have a movement practice every day, right? And that's why Core Studio workouts are shorter because I'd rather see you doing a little bit every day of the week as much as possible versus feeling like, oh my gosh, I gotta do this long, 60 or 90 minute workout once or twice a week, right? It's gonna serve you better to do shorter movement practices more often. The same with your cardio, right? Like if you feel like you're like, Eric, I gotta get out and I gotta move my body every day um, with cardio, whether that's walking or running or a combination of both or getting on a treadmill or a bike, like whatever your form is, I just want you to reflect to yourself that at the end of your workout, you feel more energized, your body feels stronger and more empowered instead of, oh my gosh, I just got done with that run, but now I'm like, you know, my hips hurting me and things like that, right? So we have to pay attention to that. So maybe you're going out and doing an hour cardio session when in reality you should only be doing 30 minutes. It can actually be more effective because if we get to this threshold where all of a sudden we're not making the right connections, thing, our alignment's starting to go, we actually could be causing our body more pain. Okay. Now, it doesn't mean you can't build back up to those longer cardio sessions. Okay. I just want you to reflect right now. And one other recommendation I have is, this is why I love, again, the shorter workouts, is doing your core studio workout before you go out for a run or a walk or biking or whatever it might be can help you to be more connected through your core, finding those opposition spiral lines through your body and things like that. So today, I just want you to reflect on, you know, are your cardio workouts, is there taking away any judgment that I want you to feel good when you do them and I don't want you to f ever, ever feel like you're doing your cardio for a punishment, right? We, that's kind of an old mindset of like, we ate this, so we've gotta go work out for this long. And we've gotta stop that, we have to like interject that today and I don't care if you ate that cupcake, Don't I don't want you to feel like you have to go run or walk it off, right? It is what it is and I think that's just a really good statement that comes up a lot. So just some things to reflect on and again to really answer that question of how much cardio you should do again try to get moving a little bit every day but there is not a concrete answer because everyone's bodies are different